You know what? Uh, that, that's something that, we would have done. That em, that embodies us, free free boys. <laughs> the free boys at Tad. If we were two women in a women's restroom, that would be us. Uh, yeah. Welcome to Good Mythical More. Just two women in a women's restroom. Right. Hang out with us today. One stall is all you need. need. Free as a dairy. You know, um, one of the things that we didn't try. What are we using as the base? Uh, ranch. High Omega Vegan Ranch. Oh, I've had that. It's funny. As it didn't taste bad. The, there's a lot of stuff that I've had that. It just didn't taste good. Is uh, I've got that at my house right now. This? Because it's like, when you go dairy free, there's like, there's only a few options really that are like recommended. Like this Daya, they make, is it Daya or Daya? I'm gonna say Daya. I think it's Daya. They make a lot of stuff. They make a freaking key lime pie, dairy-free key lime pie. It's dairy-free, gluten-free, and it's legit, it's good. This isn't the frozen section at Whole Foods. It is really good. They, they have a number of things, like Daya's, they got some good dairy-free stuff. Why is it called mocha mix? Because it's not chocolate. You got a spoon? I thought mocha always meant chocolate. But this is just creamer, but I guess that's just the name of the... Okay. It looks like eggnog or, e yeah, eggs. And we have these at my house too, because we knew that Shepard was was not lactose intolerant, but he was lactose sensitive, and so he would get like eczema when he was a baby when he had milk, and so we got these, and he would eat them all the time. It says so delicious on them. Eh, they're kind of delicious. They're not so delicious. Mm, this is when it gets nasty and naughty. <laughs> uh, but this, I'm telling you, I think since we tied, Stevie should drink this. Uh, what is that? I think we have that in the rule book. That's Plain. the cream cheese. It's pretty good. Not as good as their key lime, I'm telling you, their key lime pie. What is that made out of? Coconut oil, tapioca starch, non-GMO expeller press canola and or non-GMO expeller press safflower oil. You have to say that kind of stuff like a robot. <laughs> I mean, this is earth balance. Do we really need to add some of this? Sure. Yeah. And yeah, let's. Just I also add that. have that in my freaking refrigerator. I, ha you would have thought that I would have beat you, considering that. I know. I've actually, You've got I've all, got all these this at stuff, home. But it's. That's a testimony to the quality of the product. Yeah. When you but when you mix it in, I think it's. Did you get? You didn't get any of that. You just opened it and looked at it. I put the whole. Oh, but you gotta have. You gotta have some smoothness in this smoothie. And then hand me, ooh, goodness. And then hand me the, right the salmon heart. and onion. I don't think we need more bread, so I'm just gonna take the nasty parts. Oh, you gotta, you gotta have your greens, though. I don't, I don't wanna touch that fish with my hands. I'll just touch it with my mouth and throat <laughs> later. <laughs> oh, gosh. And did you put coffee in there? Salmon and... Onions. Oh, that's enough. Good gracious. <laughs> Blender up, Link. And also, another thing, any of you trying uh, dairy-free, Ben & Jerry's Dairy-Free Chunky Monkey. They use almond milk ice cream. Really, really good stuff. Watch so low. So satisfying. Okay. Put them in the communal cup here. It has achieved the universal color of the smoothie, which that should be a crayon color. Let's get Crayola involved. Smoothie. It's just light brown Crayola. It'd be easy to do. This is a dairy-free milkshake. It's not a smoothie. Oh, got it. But isn't a smoothie Ooh. a milkshake technically a smoothie? It's that's a milk. A good, it's a, a milk question. smoothie. That's a good question for someone else to answer. <clears throat> hmm. Bowie's Creek Elementary colors. <laughs> yeah, it is the demons. The Bowie's Creek demons. Did that on purpose? Yeah, he uh, thought of everything. Okay, Beyonce, 
I'm doing this one for you. Oh man. The ranch, ranch really comes through. <coughs> nope, nope, not today. Not today. <laughs> I was worried about you just for a second. For a second, I was I was going south. The ranch is so overpowered. That it has actually, like a large footprint. That helped me. That helped me. It has like twice the footprint as a two-story home. Well, you know why? For the, all the cows. Yeah. You know, it was a thing. I don't know if it was a thing elsewhere, but it was, it was a thing in the south that there were. You'd have a friend who had a big ranch house. You know, like the rich friend, because like land is just like it's. It, you can. It's like a do, It's like a dollar an acre there. And, you know. <laughs> Did you like that? No. Drink some more. I don't want it. Drink Let's some talk more. about ranch homes. Drink some more. Um, yeah, and well, all the ranch homes, they wouldn't be technical ranch homes because a lot of them would have, at the end down here, they would have a split, split level, level and then it would have the, you would drive underneath. I'm not talking about split level. That's a different era. A split level is about, a ranch that has a dugout garage. I'm talking about one end just like it. flat land, r brick, ranch that just goes on and on and mm -hmm. on and on like 4,000 square feet of ranch home. Like you're sitting in your recliner. You have to yell like, a lot. Honey, I'm missing a sock. And she's like, what? You know, she can bar you can barely yeah, hear. Yeah, right, yeah. Like, what? And then you hear. My grandparents had walkie talkies. And then it kept going. She's like, you're missing a what? It's like, a sock. It's like, well, I think it's in the bedroom. Well, I'm not going into the bedroom until tonight. Right, until tonight. Well, I'm not getting your sock. I'm not your sock getter. Why do I have to be the one to get your socks? Get up and get your own sock, or just spend the rest of the day without your sock. If you're too lazy to walk to the other end of our ranch house, <laughs> then that's your problem. Well, there's three miles to the sock. Well, that's over it. I'd probably wear out my one sock retrieving my other sock. By the time I got there, my foot would be through my sock. That's, yeah, that's exactly how it went down. Every day. My grandparents, they didn't have a walkie-talkie, but they communicated by picking up the phones. Yes. So you know how yeah. you can pick up a phone? Poor man's telecom. So intercom. if you're in the bedroom and she's in the living room. Pick up the phone. You yell, at first you're like, honey, now! And then she knows, which incidentally, our grandmas had the same name, Yeah. Nell. They were the same woman. Yeah. Weird. <laughs> We're cousins. First cousins. That would be second cousins. But pick up the phone, and then they would speak on it until it starts going. I'm right. First of all, hold on. You'd be talking over that. We are. We are first. Cousins. First cousins, same grandma. Unless it's a step grandma. <laughs> yeah, you got to say it quick before the busy signal. You have uh, off the hook. You got about thirty seconds to get your business in, and but you, but they would just click it. They would, they click it. They click it again to start it over again. They'd be in a conversation. Click that it. That is click right. It. You guys don't believe us, but it's it's totally true. It's it's called the poor man's walkie-talkie. And do you know what they would say when they got on there? Yeah, my sock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't do that these days. You pick your cell phone up. There is no dial tone, and you can't just talk to somebody else in your house. That's why I don't use a cell phone. And on Lassie, they would pick out the phone, and there'd be a human operator just there, waiting to well, talk to him. It, well, and. After no. that, there was what you call the party line. A lot of our parents had what you call the party line. And That's that how was, I knew about it. In your community, there was one phone line that went down a street or in a certain part of the neighborhood, and you picked up the phone to see who was on the party line, and you'd pick the phone up and you could hear the neighbor talking. And you'd be like, oh, but that was back when people minded their own business. And so you'd hear your neighbor talking and you'd hang up. And then you'd wait for your turn to get on the party line. You don't. You we don't go back. To you that. don't remember this personally, do you? No, no. We didn't have a party line, right? Where I was, but like my parents had a party line. <clears throat> People were closer back then. Yeah, because they knew each other's business. Yeah, and they didn't get out of their chairs to speak to each other. They just. They, but we, you, are, you are right about picking up the phone. When I call my mom now, um, on a landline. On the, I call her landline because she still has one, and she'll answer that and talk to me. No. Lewis will answer the phone. That's not her butler, that's her husband. <laughs> he's just not my father. And he's too old. They got married too late for me to call him my stepdad. 
He's just my mom's husband. We've been through this. Anyway, Lewis will pick up the phone. Hey, Lewis, it's Link. How you doing? He's like, good. Uh, soup. And then all of a sudden, huh? Did you say soup? Sue. Sue. That's my mom's name. All right. That makes more sense. Lewis would call Sue. Sue. And then I, all of a sudden, mom would pick up the phone. I'd start talking to mom. And then a few minutes later, like, Lewis would chime in because he's still on yeah, the other right. phone. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I'm you talking to both of them. You can't do that anymore because now you have, to cool. have, you have to have it on speaker. But the problem with speaker is now everybody's involved. Yeah. You know, but the, with the phone line, it could just be the two or three people at home that want to be on the phone call. You can merge a call. No, you can't. <laughs> you That's know a what? myth. That's a myth. <laughs> we do that. That's, every time you merge a call, somebody gets lost. I'm inventing an app right now. It's a mythical phone app, and it's called... The Party Line. It's called... And here's what happens when you call so, when you call someone they hit a button and it you hit a merge with who just anybody and then so, any someone anywhere is just automatically no. merged in no 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 no, no. but chat. it's someone within it's, it's a, a chat. radius it's someone within a radius so it's if you subscribe to the service you can tap into people's conversations within like a half mile radius so it's a way to get to know the people in your community by listening into their phone conversations <laughs> but they have but, to, but everybody submits to it it's like i'm only i'm doing all my private calls on the party line the mythical party line mythical this is a good party. idea but i want it to work in such a way that like you can you should for privacy purposes i do want to be able to hit emerge to who Button. Like, let's call that button something like merge it up. We'll work on it. Merge it out. <laughs> but do you, what do you think of the radius should Merger. be? Merger. You half mile? I think you can set the radius. It's your preference. Well, some. But no longer than 100 some miles. Some ranch houses are half a mile. Right. We've already established There's that. There's some people who live in the, in, in, the, in the, the boonies in like Alaska, and you got to give them like a 50 mile radius maybe so they can get on a party line. Mark our words. We will work on it. Ah! Thanks for sticking around for Good Mythical More. If you want to watch more, well, we don't have Good Mythical More more, but we do have a lot more videos. Here's two of them. Also, click the circular channel icon to subscribe.